It's starting to become exciting in Hollywood as the award season is fast approaching, and it's already been announced who's going to host the creme de la creme of awards, the Oscars. Gone Girl actor Neil Patrick Harris is set to host the biggest award show in the industry on the 22nd of February 2015, and judging from past experience, he's going to do a great job, <laughs> as he's already hosted the Tony Awards four times. As soon as he announced the news, Neil said that following in the footsteps of Johnny Carson, Billy Crystal, Ellen DeGeneres and everyone else who had the great fortune of hosting as a bucket list dream come true, and then proceeded to tick host the Oscars off his bucket list. Harris's career has gone through an incredible year, as it saw him win a Tony Award, he closed his long-running TV show How I Met Your Mother, and starred in the highly anticipated thriller Gone Girl with Ben Affleck. But now the pressure's on, as he's following in the footsteps of Ellen DeGeneres, who hosted in 2007, and then again in 2014 with almost 55 million people watching. Good luck, Neil. Movie lovers the world over cannot wait. Angelina Jolie has recently been named an honorary dame by England's Queen Elizabeth II, thanks to her efforts to end sexual violence in war zones and for service to UK foreign policy. The stunning actress met the Queen in Buckingham Palace, where she was presented with the insignia of an honorary dame Grand Cross, the female equivalent of a knighthood, and the highest honour to be granted to a citizen of the British Empire. But as you may have thought, Jolie isn't British, which is why hers is only an honorary status and sadly she cannot be called Dame Angelina. Sources have revealed that Brad and their six children were also there to witness the event, while another has stated that the kids were very excited to be at Buckingham Palace. Everyone dressed up really smart. When it was first announced, Angie noted that to receive an honour related to foreign policy means a great deal, because it's what she wants to dedicate her life to. And although succeeding in our goals will take a lifetime, she's ready to dedicate her lifetime to the task.